When I was briefed on our itinerary for Ecuador, I saw that the one big goal for the trip is to climb Cayambe. Cayambe is a volcano and rises up to about 18,900. Certainly high, not a lot of oxygen up there, uh, and we didn't really have a lot of time to acclimate. So we were definitely nervous going into the trip, but it ended up being a spectacular journey. So before we climbed the volcano, we had the opportunity to explore everything else that Ecuador has to offer. So the first place we went was the Mashpi Reserve. We got to explore the rainforest and the cloud forest. It was just a blast to play Jungle Book for a few days. Mashpi is a rainforest, and in a rainforest, everything gets soaking wet. And so Zach and I just embrace that. You know, you just allow it to kind of become part of the experience. You know, great opportunity to test out some of the rain gear that Columbia has to offer. Uh, and the jackets performed exceptionally well. Ecuador, despite not being a very large country, takes a lot of time to travel through. And in one of the world towns we went through, uh, we happened upon uh, a market. And it was one of the most unique places I've ever been. All these farmers show up and are selling their livestock. So there, you know, there were pigs inside burlap sacks, there were you know, milk cows, there were horses, there were baby sheep. These villages are really spread out. And so this is their opportunity to really come together and share an economy together. Let me tell you, that is a real farmer's market. Whenever you've got squealing pigs and spitting llamas and fried guinea pigs, that is a farmer's market. The bliss of all the activities kind of distracted us from the mission. All of a sudden, there it was, last day of the trip looming over our heads. We left Quito and drove out to a farm where we met our guides. Had to get all of our gear, so crampons, boots, helmets, ice axes. Then we headed up to the refugio. You round the corner to come into the refugio and there it is, uh, looming over everything. Cayambe is massive and she looks like she means business. We took a two hour nap, woke up, it was midnight. We threw on headlamps and started the climb. The minute we started hiking, we realized what we were in for and that was a massive, massive day. Uh, it's true mountaineering and you really gotta dig deep and we found that out within the first few miles. The jacket that I was wearing was the Outdry Extreme Diamond. You know, it was super windproof. You know, so it kept me warm from the cool winds at higher elevations. It is just a straight shell to keep you really protected. For me, that meant I could layer whatever I needed underneath, and I was comfortable the whole time. One of the coolest parts of the climb was when the sun started to come up. We were facing directly west, and it cast this incredible shadow of Mount Cayambe out over the landscape. It was a real mental game. I've never been at that high of an elevation before, um, so I knew that was gonna be a real challenge for me. We were moving at a very slow pace, slow and steady, with not a lot of breaks. Uh, I, I just took it step by step and you know, ended up making it to the top. Uh, but the person I was most proud of was my co-director, Lauren Steele. The minute that I saw the summit, every doubt in my mind Vanished. Uh, she had, you know, was coming off a knee injury from three weeks ago at Whistler, and that's uh, nothing to be scoffed at when you're going to climb the highest peak you've ever been on. Most people cry whenever they're on the summit. I teared up a little bit knowing that I was approaching it, and that was a really special feeling. The sense of accomplishment at the top uh, was was totally overwhelming. You know, I think Lauren and I could walk away from Ecuador really feeling like, you know, we were tested tough. Climbing a mountain is a collective experience, a collective experience of the doubts you have, of the hopes you have, of the steps you take, of the emotions you go through. And at the end of it, Ecuador has just been one beautiful collection of memories and steps taken.